definitely a cat over there. <laughs> you already have energy to do dishes? What's up? Impressive. Hi, Nan. Kitty sound. Hi, Nan. Flute sounds better than the kitties. Beautiful day. That looks like a very good breakfast. Tasty. Well, go ahead and cut into it. Now, you're not good at oh, there it goes. Mm. <laughs> cut into the egg. There you go. Now. Now you're more like a vlogger. Not really. You got hair in my picture. <laughs> this book is freaking fascinating. Hey, Jake and Stephanie. Three thirty in the afternoon. I'm still at home in my pajamas, thoroughly enjoying myself. How sweet is this? I think they're twins. So cute. <laughs> now we got more friends. It's a party. So cute. <laughs> Finally going out on the streets. Kitty. So pity. Okay, there's our Christmas lights. This is probably the last clip you'll see from me today because I'm feeling a little antisocial after the party last night. But I have had a great rainy day and I'll tell you all about it in the morning. So now enjoy this brief intermission of the kitties back home. The Gabriel sent me. This is for Anwen who wants to see Chicky and Moo Moo and Pico de Gallo. Enjoy. I have a level of sympathy as well and I talk about it all the time. But then when it comes to like a trans person, you're like, no, you're, what your doctors are doing are, are pushing you. Are you the baby? Are you the baby? After four hours at 32,000 feet, I finally succumbed to the stupor of a transcontinental flight. Between takeoff and landing, we are each in suspended animation, a pause between chapters of our lives. When we stare out the window into the sun's glare, the landscape is only a flat projection with mountain ranges wrinkle, reduced to wrinkles in the continental skin. Oblivious to our passage overhead, other stories are unfolding beneath us. Blackberries ripen in the August sun. A woman packs a suitcase and hesitates at her doorway. A letter is opened and the most surprising photograph slides from between the pages. But we are moving too fast and we are too far away. All the stories escape us except our own. 
When I turn away from the window, the stories recede into the two-dimensional map of green and brown below, like a trout disappearing into the shadow of an overhanging bank, leaving you staring at the flat surface of the water and wondering if you saw it at all. I put on my newly acquired and still frustrating reading glasses and lament my middle-aged vision. The words on the page float in and out of focus. How is it possible that I can no longer see what was once so plain? My fruitless strain to see what I know is right in front of me reminds me of my first trip into the Amazon rainforest. Our indigenous guides would patiently point out the iguana resting on a branch or the toucan looking down at us through the leaves. What was so obvious to their practice eyes was nearly invisible to us. Without practice, we simply couldn't interpret the pattern of light and shadow as iguana, and so it remained right before our eyes, frustratingly unseen. And two pages later, she's making the connection. So good. At the scale of a moss, walking through the woods as a six-foot human is a lot like flying over the continent at 32,000 feet. So far above the ground, and on our way to somewhere else, we run the risk of missing an entire realm which lies at our feet. Every day we pass over them without seeing. Mosses and other small beings issue an invitation to dwell for a time right at the limits of ordinary perception. All it requires of us is attentiveness. Look in a certain way and a whole new world can be revealed. So good, so good. Hello, here I am. So it's 11.30, technically still morning. Um, and here is the promised bookish check-in. I'm really quite proud. <laughs> so I finished another very small chapter of Gathering Moss this morning and it was so lovely as you will have heard. Um, I had to read that airplane passage because it reminded me of coming here and yeah, such a big life change. And then I had to read the paragraph right after because I had to laugh. Um, I felt so seen. <laughs> you all know, you know. Anyway, so good, so good. Enjoying that slowly, slowly. Um, but I powered through the disappearing spoon. Oh, Look at that, look at that. I read I, over 100 pages. Let's see, I'm on page um, 100 and, no, on page 200. Yeah, I'm, I passed 200 and I started on page 80, although I reread a chapter, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, so 120 pages in this yesterday and um, I have 150 pages to go. I'd like to finish today, but Probably that's not gonna happen because I can't be a hermit two days in a row. <laughs> Although I thoroughly enjoyed yesterday and it was much, much needed. Um, but anyway, we'll see what I can do. So the first part of this book, I thoroughly enjoyed. It was just riveting and engrossing and intriguing and enriching like I learned so much and it all made sense it all made sense so the first section is um, the history of elements so even going back to how they're created in the stars which I didn't even know and um, all about Mendeleev and the periodic table and all of the different people that went element hunting back in the day and found all these new elements and then modern day element hunting with like creating new elements and just so fascinating, all of it. And then the second section that I read, I finished yesterday as well. Well, I, actually I finished it this morning, the last chapter, but the second section is how our bodies react to different elements. So talking about the poisonous ones and the medicinal ones and um, uh, like digestive and respiration and all of that that our bodies need. Um, so I, the next section is called the elements of human character. So intrigued, intrigued. And then, uh, unexpectedly, I had a dear commenter leave me a suggestion for a graphic novel 
that I looked up and read yesterday. So it was a uh, quiet girl in a noisy world, an introvert's story by Debbie Tung. And this was so charming. Oh, just exactly what I needed yesterday. Exactly. Um, if you are a book lover, you will enjoy this. If you are an introvert, you will just feel so seen. Um, absolutely delightful. I finished it in under, under an hour and enjoyed every minute. So I, here's a little bookish one that <laughs> I'm sure that you will get a kick out of. And then, um, these just made me laugh because this was my day yesterday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So anyway, I highly suggest this if um, if you're an introvert or just a book lover, um, quiet person even. It's just so cute, so cute. Anyway, so I have gotten the last of my grades entered this morning and I need to send off four or five parent emails um, and then I'm calling it a day with work. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon. I think I promised that I would go out to dinner with the guy this evening. And uh, today is is Chinese snack day for Anwen. So I'm going to go to the local grocery and show you some of the very interesting snackish content on the shelves here. Exciting times ahead. Okay. So I'm going to finish schoolwork and then see what else I can get done while the, the, the guy is out on his bicycle with some other guys. I made him go, 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 go. <laughs> but he'll be home after lunch. So I got to enjoy my last hour of quiet girl in a noisy world time. <laughs> okay, here we go. My boyfriend brought me flowers. And even more flowers. Number one boyfriend. It's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm leaving the house for snacks. Chinese snacks. I have a stalker. <laughs> oh, the golden arches are lit. And the fountains are on. Well, I've only had rice twice this weekend. You're gonna have to go to the bathroom a lot after all this. But you know, it's cold out there. You can see our Christmas lights. Uh, nighttime is You see them? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Look on my back. Oh, that's really good out here. Check out this grocery store snackage. Yeah. Okay, obviously we must start in the chip aisle. Cucumber flavor is very popular and not too bad. Crawfish flavor is also very popular. This little corn dude is pretty cute. What else we got? Um, oh, oh, that doesn't look appetizing. These are my favorites, American classic. Seaweed is pretty good. I don't know why these are pink. Oh, I don't know. And these are purple. I don't understand those. Um, more crayfish, even more crayfish, crayfish Cheetos, squid, uh, more crayfish is like the king here, okay?
Okay, there's Hot Pot. And I think I might have to get these. It's got a cute cat. Caramel popcorn. Always a winner. Okay, the nut aisle is always fun. Peas. These are actually really good. Um, oh, I think that must be an a antioxidant health kick right there. Uh, more peas with, I don't know what that is. And, oh, walnut sunflower seeds. I've tried these. These are like, they have the hole on them, but they're still caramel flavored. Oh, this packaging is pretty. I don't know what that is, but I need that package. Huh. Sexy sunflowers. More sexy sunflowers. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. Oh, bunny girl. Hmm, what else we got? Okay, here's your tasty seaweed section. Oh my god, look at that cat. Cats are popular here and I like that. I don't know what these are. I might need to try that. Hmm. Oh, these look cute too. I wonder what that is. Huh. Oh, I like this better. Oh, so many exciting things. There's more weird things. Minion Chewies. Are these fruit Chewies? That Minion is shooting a bird. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Health food pig lollipops. Um, what else we got? Oh, these are interesting. I should get some of those for you to see. Um... Oh, these are really good. The strawberries. What is this? Huh. Those are packaged. Oh, these are weird. What is that? Huh. Let me these. I might need these. Mixed fruit and vegetables? Huh. I don't know about that. Ooh, jackfruit chips. Well, authentic tamarind. I don't even know what that is. Oh my gosh, look at this cute packaging. I don't know what it is. Fresh dried fruit. Oh, so cute. Okay, no self-respecting grocery or convenience store is without an entire aisle of ramen. Cold out, I gotta have ice cream. Magnum is the best here. And oh, oh yeah. This is the best flavor. Happy day. They've been running out at school. Okay, chocolate time. Mmm. Maybe Dove. Those have gluten. Ooh. Huh. Oh, those look fun. Oh, what are those? M&M's. dried durian, authentic passion fruit, cranberry hawthorn article, whatever that is. I mean, I know what cranberry, oh, more kitties. Oh, I don't know what that is. Hmm. I need to get some 
fruit drinks with Colleen. Oh, these look cute. Uh, we don't know what this one is either. But, yeah. There you go. More snackage. This tea was super popular at my party. Look at that packaging. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Huh. Yeah. Oh, there's another kitty. Oh, look at the kitties. So cute. Oh, look at the kitties. Puff wheat. Oh, puff rice. I wonder if I can eat that. That looks like a butt. Yeah, yeah, huh? Definitely yeah, a butt. Yeah, yeah. Need more puffy stickers for biology class. It's never too cold for ice cream. Oh, so good, so good. Wow, that's a big bag of junk. All right, so obviously I could not bypass the potty candy with the potty pot. <laughs> this is residual waste. These, happy day, are gluten free. Um, you're going to notice a theme here with the cute packaging. Okay, these are really good. And I got the individual seaweed packets. Oh, look at this trash bags. Oh my God, they're cats too. <laughs> Did you see there were cats on the trash bags? <laughs> Okay, these were kind of cool. I'll have to open those for you. <laughs> All the cat packaging. Okay, these are the stickers. I got dinosaurs and little girls. And, oh, and then just drinks for my friend. Colleen. So, yeah, that is my China snack haul. Chip a chip, 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 Remember if I filmed our lights, so here they are again. So cute. All the way around the corner, cute. 